Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Freedom Day. Uh, how, how does it how does it feel now to have your life back to uh, to, to to be free? Actually, what's changed since yesterday? So here we are, Freedom Day, and what uh, and what are we, you know, seeing in the mainstream media? Doom and gloom. Boris, what are you doing? What are you doing? Um, <coughs> obviously, Boris has, uh, would appear to have made a clangor with his. I'm not going to uh, self-isolate. Oh, actually, now I am going to self-isolate, but you know, it's a mistake. I think, um, and it, you know, it, I don't see a bit of big problem with that. There would have been an issue if he didn't self-isolate. But, uh, you know, if we really want to know what's going on, look at the G7. On camera, social distancing. Off camera, cuddling arms around each other, no face masks on. Just you, 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 They don't do themselves any favours at all in, in trying to encourage us, us uh, you, you know, the, the, the poor saps to follow the rules that they themselves just, just seem to be laughing at. But anyway, that's another story. So welcome to Freedom Day. So I've, I've just walked past my, <coughs> I've just walked around my, it's not COVID, I've just walked around my local town and uh, very good to see but roughly around, I would say 80%, just a feeling 80% of people without their face muzzle on. Um, yes, I understand that a lot of people, um, you know, do believe in the mask, they feel secure and, I, you know, uh, and everything else. But for me, I've never been convinced. <coughs> And the only reason I've never been convinced is because of um, what Chris Whitty said in April the 18th last year. Face masks are almost of no consequence whatsoever. That's, that's straight from him. Up until that point, I, I wore them, you know, like, like everybody else. Uh, but as I suffer with asthma, I just couldn't get on with them. So, I, I you know, via my doctors, I, I do get uh, immunity from wearing them. But even so, I, you know, like everyone else, I wore them. So what can we expect now going forward? So we have nightclubs opened at midnight last night and apparently, you know, did, did, re did really well. I've seen that reported on the mainstream media. Um, we've got lots of uh, stores and shops saying that they're still going to uh, ask, ask their customers to wear face masks. Um, let's see how that, uh, you know, how long that lasts. We're hearing about rapid numbers of, in of, of infections so I did a little bit of uh, research this morning. Now, I don't have a PhD. I'm not a medical professional at all, but I can read numbers. Um, and I'm looking at, you know, there, there are increases. There's, there's no, you know, no two ways about it. It's being reported. Um, death rates flatlined. So they, they, we're not seeing, seeing any, um, you know, ma major increases in deaths. But one thing that stood out to me was, you guessed it, Influen influenza, flu, all that, zero, 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 zero. Coronavirus, COVID-19, through the room. I mean, come on. Sh surely that cannot be right. It cannot be right. There's no other viruses around. It's all COVID, really? Um, again, I, I'm, I'm not a professional, but I, if, if, if something, you know, walks like a duck and sounds like a duck, you know, I, how, how can you not be sceptical? How can you not be sceptical? You know, the way that they've put this information out is fucking rubbish. You know, these are medical professionals. These are supposed to be experts. Why can't they thin out the data and, you know, and make it more accurate? Because there's absolutely no way <coughs> that there's no summer flu, no, you know, the common cold, nothing. Everything is COVID-19. That can't be right, surely. Statistically, cannot be right. But anyway, that's what they're telling us. So... Um, for, for me, I mean, we're hearing, I, th I think, something like 25 to 50,000, I, I heard yesterday, to be honest, it's going in, what's starting to go in one ear and out the other ear, uh, and out the other ear, because all I'm interested in is deaths. Who is dying of COVID-19, not with, of, 
as a cause and it's uh, you, you, you know it's very very low numbers and they all have comorbidity comorbidities that's it. it's even reported like that so it's very 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 confusing <coughs> it, it's almost as if the mainstream media and the establishment um uh, you know they've, they've just bought into it let's really hammer this home so we can perform some kind of social engineering exercise i mean i'm, I'm going into tinfoil hat country now but you know Today's Freedom Day, but what's different today than it was tomorrow? So they've re there's no more legal requirement to, 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 to wear face masks. So nobody can enforce it. But what they can do is stop you from shopping in their shop, which I guess at the end of the day is their shop. Um, but uh, it's very interesting to walk around my local town and notice that probably about 80% of the people weren't wearing face masks. My favourite coffee shop... Um, the guys behind the counter told they have to wear a face mask for another six weeks. Uh, I went into um, the Waitrose. They've been told exactly the same. Well, so the girl on the till told me they've got to wear them for another six weeks. Well, why? 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 No one's dying. All the vulnerable have had their jabs. And, and then some. You know, why? This is, this is starting to really, really not make sense. Um, I've got some other stuff that I want to divulge, but it may take me a few weeks to uh, to get this out because I don't want to get arrested by the police. But there's going to be more coming on that. Um, just yeah, um, guys, stay safe, enjoy Freedom Day, and uh, enjoy the sun while it lasts.